Hello, it's me. Welcome if you're new here. Welcome. Wait. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Welcome if you're new here. Welcome back if you're not. Um, we're gonna be playing something a little bit differently today. Uh, called Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> It doesn't seem like I can use my controller for this game, um, which is a little annoying to me, but that's okay. Yes, you spelled your name right. <laughs> Gonna start in the dining car. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this the first day on the job, job <laughs> jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, B, shake it off. Slap! <laughs> B, did I see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir. How are you doing this morning? Quite alright myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. <laughs> Is that because you're a sweetie? <sighs> Trying to button me up the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. I can see why his wife's excited then. <laughs> Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu, add it to your inventory. I can open the inventory any time to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Let's check it. Chili dog. Ramen and chicken cordon bleu. Great. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which one of these do we serve in the dining car? Crabber Goon. Spicy Grilled Picky. Chicken Cordon Bleu. Glad you can read the menu okay. Ha 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 ha. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Oh. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I'll make you proud, sir. That this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage are opening. All aboard. Um, I have played a little bit of this game. But I didn't even get past the second car, I think. Maybe the third. I'm not for sure. Amy? Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can I... Nope. Can't promise I won't take anything good, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing the, from the train station gift shop? Hold on. I have to adjust my... second... screen going on over here. It slipped a little bit. <laughs> it was a pin, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pin? What cast of characters am I stuck with? You don't know these people? Get, get a hold of yourself, B. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Of course, sir. Are, are you a pirate? Oh, no. I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. 
Sorry about that, birthday girl. I almost thought I almost read baby girl. Sorry about that, baby girl. <laughs> I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. <laughs> I'm sorry. You'll join me, B, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Go right to left. Hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? How forward? Let me fetch it for you. Thanks, man. Come back if you need anything else. Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. You're gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? <laughs> Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best judge at the best of judging characters. May I have your ticket, please? Oh, thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Did she just say princess? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have the sniffles. <laughs> <clears throat> if you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. <sighs> Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can't I not win with this group? <laughs> Should I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Why, certainly. Very nice. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train, train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good tri true, crime, true crime podcast. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along to for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely, thank you. Here. Damn. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, um, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the bag I could get for you. <laughs> that stare, so cold. Be you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? No, I'm good. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me, puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. <laughs> I study ninjutsu. Jutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you climb onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Me neither. <laughs> Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you to see if it turns up. That would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry about it, I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer much, other than my sincere gratitude. 
Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. Tails is my favorite Sonic character. I love Tails. Can I get your ticket, young'un? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have aboard? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt at it. That can melt any jaded heart. No way! I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. That is so cute. Absolutely. If you have anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. I don't think traveling with emotional support gelatin is normal. <laughs> Howdy, could I please get your ticket? Aw, oh, Knuckles, you crumpled it all up. I think that's a ticklin? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Mm. Damn. Don't mind if I do. B, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure B only gets one of those if they ask. Oh, he narrowed his eye at me. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, I train the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Side eye. Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty, too. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Oh, it's a ticket. Wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to the rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. B, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Picked up a lost ticket. There it is, that's my ticket. Thank you so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I missed the murder mystery. Old be here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Yeah, I couldn't beat this guy up. Wait. Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist me if they need any help, won't you? That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming? warming not warming then a conductor and his train excellent i'll be off i must take my leave everyone please have a phenomenal time and don't worry about mucking up the place either this train has state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that for everything else please talk to be here if you need anything sounds good absolutely will do goodbye now i like that guy thank you all for following the outfit guide i sent you you all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards are not read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murder murderer's intentions. Now, under the nitty gritty, for the murder mystery game, one of, you one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes all the rules. Sonic, you are ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the training car. Indubitably. I might have said that wrong. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> 
Sounds fun. Spectre, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet. Both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. Mm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can up ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map. Add it to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill, quote unquote, a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to be to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? It sounds like everyone's excited. <clears throat> everyone, to your stations. Mm-hmm. This is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How's the I have goosebumps. Isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and their journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy is more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Probably expecting their, inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who receives them. My backstory is that I was best friends with the Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kinda sounds fun. My second screen keeps slipping because I'm using a um, the drawing tablet pen display. Um, and so it keeps wanting to slip down. <laughs> I have to keep adjusting it. Because I don't have a second monitor yet. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Mm, I get it. I also wouldn't want to be stuck on microwave duty. The train starts moving. Started moving. It's so fast. Grab onto something. What's going on? I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't. I'm not yelling that. Or that. <laughs> oh no. You're both awake. Yeah, it seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. B, could you get the door? Of course. It seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Let's find another way out. Start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. 
Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. All right. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests will be taken care are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Okay, let's see. Something's always sitting in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skill has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. That sounds so good. I've only had microwave lunches this week. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet sign. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to keep Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he almost slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought I, that counts, I suppose. What's this, a rod? The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's rel related to our story, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? I'll keep looking. There's gotta be another way out of here. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, B, take... Look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into. I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is closed. Recorded in your inventory. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Start interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? <laughs> my crew, the chili dog. <laughs> Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly by while B and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. <laughs> Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? B, let me step you through this. <laughs> First, take the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. What proves Amy? Attempted to escape the dining room closet. Stick. Oh, okay. I'm not sure this will convince Amy. Let's give it another try. What evidence proves Amy was trying to leave the closet? A crack on a shelf. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, you see, when I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad nicks. He never loses. Like in, in this runner game, I play a lot of those on my phone. Um, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Okay, how do I do this? Oh, I need space bar. Okay. It has been a 
minute before I played the game. So I don't remember exactly how to play. <clears throat> but that sounded pretty good. Or that, that was pretty good, I mean. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around this shelf for it to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was wrong for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with, then? The stick. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Let's see what we think about this. Just barely. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage on the shelf it's on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. <laughs> it's as you both said. I tried to get this out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tying things here, a little bit grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We are free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Wait. Is that? It can't be. Sonic! <laughs> Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this and once. Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are those wounds on him genuine? My hand on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic? Oh no. Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, B. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich, so I leave their care to you, B, my favorite employee. Sure, you won't let me down on this last ride. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Saloon car. Whoa, look at this place. Tails, are you here? Where are you? E, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you see something from- or did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. 
we're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? Any more evidence to figure out what's going on? Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course. Sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Mm, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because... Um, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the Dr. E no, the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. <laughs> e marmots. I don't know. <laughs> what are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. <laughs> Knuckles. We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. Cough. Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and- Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles. So it seems like we're on our own. B. We need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right. Let's do it. Clearly won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The gym it is. The, the damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. Damn. How can I carry all that? Used in cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Or oh, oh dear. Oh my chow. Hmm. I don't know if that's right. Hate to see them like this. What did they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. B. This is interesting. What is this? Just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Um. Knuckles is really thirsty? Beat, this one had lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' colors at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. First and foremost, we have to check the trash. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. <sighs> Sadly... This one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. We have faith. It's as they say, one man's, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I think Tails is ignoring me. The robotic arms here are really helpful. I love that he narrows his eye at me all the time. What's the arm doing to my hair? You fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can a microwave? The bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Huh. Seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. What? Ew. That's disgusting. Or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> that's so mean. Howdy, partners. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Oh no, I like both of these. I like your hat. Please don't beat me up. Why can't I say both? No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. Mm, no, I'd fight you. Sorry, B. I wish you luck. He's not actually going to fight me. Right? Knuckles. B and I 
need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder that took the hour the murder that took place. Wait. <laughs> Keep adding that in whenever it doesn't need to be there. The hour the murder took place. Okay. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? B, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Uncle during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade machine? What makes you think I touched it? The punch, man. <laughs> what do you mean, what makes me think you touched it? You heckin' punched it, man. Whoops. Oh, that was close. Ba -do -ba -do. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... The arcade cabinet is full of punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you- I'm on it. Beat, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Okay, let's see. Oh, shit. Oh. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something math. Look at the name at the top of the list. Inspector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Mm -hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score, and Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Mm -hmm. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove me he was here now. Shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it. You have nothing. Silch, nada. Now I'll leave you two. Quick, B, let's try this again. Okay. I forget that I can hold the button down for like ease of moving. That was much better that I held it down instead of clicking it every single time. Now, be what proved Vector was here with Knuckles. No. I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some great drinks playing arcade. It's, it's... It's not like that. It's not. I wasn't. Don't tell me. <laughs> I think we're on the right track here. It says you say Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he busted me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story, an alibi. I've told you an abridged version of this. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. 
this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explained the use of the use. Well, this ex that explains one of the use cups. But what is the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm, a, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our questions. Mm, actually. Um, actually? That's not everything. It's a knuckles. <gasps> I want to step back to something I noticed. One more on the name of this high score list. Doesn't make sense. B, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Okay, so we have Vector, Knuckles, Toast, Apple, Bread, Bagel, Candy, Ultim. All the other names have a food name theme, but this one, who here goes by Ultim? You might not know B, but there is someone here that goes by the title. The ultimate life form. Shadow. There's really someone here who goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling to so much with the game, but then Shadow dipped by. So Shadow is here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and then... Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow Score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key! Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right. The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened to the, in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked, what, even though I asked with that cowboy accent, you're gonna have to find them and ask yourselves. More information than I expected to get there. But it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough, the library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. We'll do, Sheriff. Come on, B. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. B. Coming! I don't think I was supposed to say it that excitedly. Okay. <clears throat> we are going to end the video for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Uh, and that's it for today. Bye.